Hi, my dears. How are you? Hope you are keeping well. So, welcome back to English class. Do you remember till? Till Ellen Spiegel? What is till going to do now? What did Archduke ask uh, till to do? Do you remember? To paint the portrait of the Archduke. The Archduke of Battenberg. I hope you remember. Uh, shall we continue the reading? Okay, listen here. Okay, we finished the seven, parag seven paragraphs. Now, we are starting with eight paragraph. Listen. The next day, Till asked the Archduke to allow him to see all the courtiers who were to be painted along with him. They came and saw him one by one. The first to come was the commander-in-chief of the army. He was a short, fat, bald man with an enormous paunch. He whispered in Till's ear, when you paint my picture, remember, you are to make me look handsome. If you do not make my stomach look flat, I will have you hanged. Remember, I was once a very handsome soldier. Okay. The next day, Till asked Archduke to allow him to see all the courtiers who were to be painted along with him. Allow. What do you mean by allow? Permit. Let him. Let him see all the courtiers. Why, why uh, Till is asking uh, to meet all other courtiers? Yes? That is it. Till is going to paint their, their pictures. So, there he, want to, he wants to uh, see them all. That's why. To all the courtiers uh, to be painted along with him. Okay. They came and saw him one by one. One by one. One after other. Can you understand? One after other. First, a person come and we uh, meet uh, till. Then next one come. Then next, next, next. That's all. One by one. The first to come was the commander in chief of the army. Commander in chief. You know the word. Commander in chief of the army. He was a short, fat, bold man with an enormous pouch pouch he was a short don't you know the meaning of short the man is short not tall short man a fat fat yes very big man and a bold man what is this word b a l d how it is pronounced what is the meaning of it? Oh, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> then how can we know it? How, how can we know the meaning of the word B-A-L-D? I don't know. <laughs> then how can we know? Yes, we can search in the Google. Shall we? Come on. Let us uh, search in Google. What is the uh, word B-A-L-D? Okay, let us search. Uh, here is the Google. Let us search the word. B A L D. Then go. Yes. What is the meaning? Having a scalp wholly or partly lacking hair. Ah, lack of hair on head. Lack of ha hair on head. Lack of hair on head. That is. 
the meaning of the word B A L D. Then how it is pronounced? You know how it is pronounced? Cold. Uh, let us search for the pronunciation. B A L D pronunciation. Uh, let us hear how it is pronounced. Pold. 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 Did you hear it? How it is pronounced? Pold. Bold. Okay. So, if you don't know the pronunciation of a word or the meaning of a word, we can search it in the Google. With your father or mother, okay, by your side. So uh, this is a this is a very easy way uh, to learn words, the meaning and pronunciation of words. So how the b a l d the word b a l d pronounce ball, o. The letter is a, but we will pronounce it as o ball. So what is the meaning? Lack of hair in the on the head, not in on on the head. Okay. Yes. So the commander in chief was a short, fat, bold man. Have you seen a bold man? Look at the head. Very thin hair. Here in all these places, hair is lacking. He is a bold man. What is the word? B A L D. How it is pronounced? Bold. So this is the commander in chief. Listen. This is the commander in chief. A short, fat, bold man. Okay. With an enormous pounds. Pounds. What is the meaning of pounds? Uh, shall we search in the Google the meaning for pounds? Okay, the meaning of pounds. Not but uh, meaning. Yes, here is the a large or protruding belly. Belly. Pro protruding belly. What do you mean protruding belly? Munota kundi nekana belly. Pot belly. We will say pot belly. Okay, so I am telling you again, if you don't know the meaning of a word, you can search in the Google uh, with your father or mother by your side. You can search in the Google, uh, then you will get the meaning and you will get the pronunciation too. So, use that facility uh, from now onwards to know the meaning and pronunciation of the words. Okay, will you do? Yes, very good. Will you will you will do it? Okay, with an enormous pounds. What do you mean pounds? Pot belly. What do you mean pot belly? Ah, could have heard. An enormous, enormous means very big. What is this word? Enormous. Once more, please. Yes, enormous. Very big. That is the meaning. I will show you an enormous pound. Yes, this is a pot belly pound. Okay, look at here. It's a flat belly. Flat belly. What okay. are this is a pot belly? This is a pot belly and this is a flat belly. Belly means stomach, that you know. This is a flat belly and this is a aqua pot belly, pounds. Okay. Yes. So he was a short, fat, bold man with an enormous pounds. He whispered in Till's ear, whispered, murmured. In a low sound, very low sound, low sound, what is the low sound, you know, okay, in a very low sound whispered 
another word murmured what is another word murmured so read this word please whisper whispered in tilts ear when you paint my picture remember you are to make me look handsome when you paint my picture remember one thing you are going to paint me in your painting so remember one thing you are to make me look handsome make me look handsome handsome beautiful so now i am not beautiful not handsome pot belly short etc but you are to make me handsome beautiful if you do not make my stomach look flat you make my stomach look flat flat do you remember the flat belly yes so when till paint the picture what is till uh, till's job till's work make the pot belly flat can you understand yes no pot belly no enormous pounds in the painting if you do not make my stomach look flat i will have you hanged hanged or be hanged ah toki kollu toki kollu hanged toki kollu i will have you hanged remember i was once a very handsome soldier in uh, ago years ago i was a very beautiful man beautiful soldier don't you know the meaning of soldier look at the look at this word what is this soldier what is the meaning a person in the army soldier means a person in the army sainyathile a okay i was once or in be once once upon a time years ago i was a very beautiful man that is so what is the demand of the commander in chief of the army what is his, his demand to make him beautiful in the painting what is his demand tell me yes to make him beautiful handsome in the painting there are two words handsome and pretty handsome pretty tell us tell me the words uh, handsome pretty handsome mean both the uh, words mean beautiful but the word handsome is used for uh, men and the word pretty is used for ladies can you get the difference handsome and pretty both the word means ah uh, both the words mean beautiful okay next one so the first person uh, who met till was the commander in chief of the army so let us see who is second next paragraph an elderly lady came next she had a large hump on her back so painter she said softly make me look young and beautiful if you don't remove the hump on my back and supply what i lack in beauty i will have you torn to pieces <laughs> that's all an elderly lady came next what do you mean by elderly old lady elderly old old lady came next she had a large hump on her back large hump have you ever seen a camel or the photo of a camel what is on the back of the camel on its back have you seen uh, a shape like this this shape have you ever seen yes that is known as hump i will show you listen
Yes. This is the hump. Hump on the back. Kunya. Isn't it? Yes. Hump on the back. This is the hump. That, that old lady has a hump on her back. Okay. This is the hump. Yes. She had a large hump on her back. Sir Painter, she said softly. What do you mean softly? In a, in a good voice. Beautiful voice. Soft voice. Mudwaya Shabda. Soft voice. Sir Painter, make me look young and beautiful. You should make me young and beautiful in the painting. That's all. Make me look young and beautiful. Uh, how is the lady now? Old lady. But what she want? What does she want? To make her beautiful. That's all. If you don't remove the hump on my back, and supply what I lack in beauty. Ah. If you don't remove illengil, chay the lengil, remove, or in the remove, move away. Move away, that is the remove. Remove the hump on my back and supply, supply, give. Give what I lack in beauty. Ah. Uh, look here, you should make me beautiful. Pretty in your painting. If you don't do that, that is the meaning. What is the meaning of this sentence? If you don't make me look pretty in the painting, that is the meaning. I will have you torn to pieces. Torn, tear, what do you mean? T E A R, tear. In a kiriga, rip. Another word is rip. Tear. The past participle of tear is torn. Tear, tore, torn. T O R N, torn. What is the meaning? Rip away. Kirkalega. Pitchi chindaga. That is the meaning. Torn to pieces. Just simple thing. I will rip you into pieces. That's all. I will tear you into pieces. That's all. I will kill you. That's the meaning. <laughs> yeah. So that is that. Uh, that is what the elderly lady, the old lady, uh, told till. Next, a young lady who was the companion of the Duchess came in as soon as the old lady left. So who is the next person come? A young lady. What is the speciality of that young lady? He is the companion of the Duchess. Duchess, you know, Duchess. How, don't you remember the Duchess? This is the wife of the Archduke. The title, the name of the position is Duchess. Once more, say the word Duchess. Once more, Duchess. Okay. He is the companion of the Duchess. Companion. Friend. Tori. In the way, friend. Tori. Panjarika. Companion of the Duchess came in as soon as the old lady left. Left. Don't you know the word left? Ah. Uh, go away. Left. She was young and pretty. So, do you remember the word pretty? What is the meaning? Pretty. Beautiful. The companion of the Duchess was young and pretty. But he had lost three of her front teeth in an accident. There is no friend teeth, three teeth. No, there is no of three teeth. What, ha what happened? He lost it. She lost it in an accident. She won't till that if in her picture, she didn't see herself smiling with a perfect set of pearly teeth. She would have him cut 
into small bits by her lover. She pointed to the captain of the guards. So what is the young lady, uh, the young lady's uh, need? She says that she wants to see in the picture herself smiling. Can you smile? Ah, yes, you can. We can smile showing our teeth and without showing our teeth. Uh, listen here. Mm, where is it? Ah, look, a beautiful smile showing the teeth. How is the, this teeth? The pearly teeth. Have you ever seen pearls? Pearls? I will show you. Mm, yes. Here are the pearls. These are the pearls. Muttugal. Pearls. You know. Pearl. And you know from where these pearls? Uh, we get these pearls? From the oyster. What do you mean by oyster? This is an uh, this is an ocean creature. Oyster, chippy. Inside the oyster, we can get pearl. Okay, so pearl is uh, gained by from a sea creature, a living being, chippy. Chippy kulani nana. We get these pearls. Listen. And here also there is a pearl. You can see it here also. So these are the pearls and this is the smile with pearly teeth. Pearly teeth. Teeth shining like pearls. Teeth shining like pearls. Okay. So... What is the demand of the young lady? She want till to paint the picture with her smiling face showing the pearly teeth. That is the main point. Showing the pearly teeth. Okay. Otherwise, what will happen? She would have him cut into small bits. Cut into small bits. That means Huh, cut into small pieces by her lover. Who is her lover? The captain of the guards. So the second threat to tell. Threat. What in be threat? Bhishani. Okay, threat. So two or oh, three, three of them have come. The commander in chief, the old lady and the young lady. What are the demands of all these three persons? The only one demand. Make them look beautiful in the painting. What, are, what is their demand? What is their demand? Make them look beautiful in the painting. That's all. Okay. Similar request. And threats continued until he had finished with the last of the copiers. Then the archduke sent for him and said, My dear fellow, I want your portrait to be perfect in every detail. You are to paint all my courtiers exactly as we see them. If you leave out a mole, a pimple or a single grey hair, I will have you slaughtered like a pig. Okay. <laughs> what is the demand of the Archduke? Let us see. Similar request. What is this word? Request. 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 No. We are not pronouncing like that. Request. We don't pronounce the last T and S. So it is request. Say once more. 
request. So, similar request, what do you mean by request? Abhetchavai. And threats, what do you mean by threats? Bheshani. Similar request and threats continue on. What do you mean by similar? Similar means same. Similar request and threats continued until he had finished with the last of the cocktails. What is this word? U-N-T-I-L. Until. How it is pronounced? Until. What do you mean by until? Up to that time. Until means up to that time. So, he had finished with the last of the courtiers. So what it means? What is uh, what this sentence mean? All the courtiers, each one of the courtier threatened till. Make me look handsome, look pretty. Otherwise, I will kill you. That is the threat. Everyone want to be beautiful in the Painting. That's all. Then the Archduke sent for him and said, Archduke sent for him. What do you mean sent for him? Call a person uh, with a messenger. Call a person with a messenger. Are with a will be here. That's all. The Archduke sent for him and said, so now Archduke is saying something to tell. My dear fellow, I want your portrait to be perfect in every detail. I want your portrait to be perfect. 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 Paripurnam. No defect. Perfect means without any defect. Okay. Perfect in every detail, all the detail, all the minor points, even the minor uh, things, even small things. I want your portrait to be perfect. You are to paint all my courtiers exactly as we see them. You are to paint all my courtiers exactly. What do you mean exactly? Correctly, rightly, exactly, as such, adupole, as such, as we see them. If you leave out a mole, a pimple, or a single grey hair, a mole, mole means black spot. What do you mean by uh, mole hair? M-O-L-E, mole, black spot. A black spot or a pimple. Pimple. Pimple means mukhakuru. Pimple. Or a single grey hair. Grey hair. Hair, you know, grey, the color. Color of the hair. I will have you slaughtered like a pig. I will have you slaughtered, slaughtered, killed. What will be slaughtered? Killed. Say this word. Slaughtered. Once more. Slaughtered. What is the meaning of slaughtered? Killed. Like a pig. I will kill you like a pig. Pig is killed for food. Isn't it? You know. Okay. Pig. Have you ever seen a pig? Oh, I will see. I will show you. Pig. So, this is a pig. And this also is a pig. Look at the face, um, shape of the face. Look here. Oh, so this is the, this is a pig. Okay. If you leave out a mole, a pimple or a single grey hair, I will have you slaughtered like a pig. Okay. So what is the demand of Archduke? To paint the picture exactly as such the people are. So exactly like the people uh, are, how they are. No change in their shape, in their uh, appearance. 
no no change in their appearance that is that is the demand of uh, archduke if there is a change in the shape or appearance what will uh, the archduke do archduke will kill till uh, what will the other courtiers do uh, if till do not make them um, beautiful what will they do they will kill till <laughs> so what is the condition of till anyway kill till will be killed can you get the idea anyway the uh, the person the painter the court painter will be killed oy adu pole cheyidan aru kollum aalukal kollum endengil maatam veruthiyan who will kill till the archduke will kill till okay so what is happening let us read the next paragraph till coolly thought things over and said to himself if i paint this picture i shall certainly be killed either the archduke will have me slaughtered like a pig for having disobeyed him or the courtiers will have me murdered for painting them as they really are in either case i am to die what am i to do perhaps it is wiser not to paint this picture at all okay till coolly coolly very cool without any stress without any uh, sadness uh what without any tension till thought thought things over or you be thought things over thought thought all sides of a thing of a matter all the sides of a matter ella talathil ninnum ella side of ella vasangalum thought things over and said to himself if i paint this picture i shall certainly be killed if i paint this picture varachal i shall certainly be killed anyway i will be killed either the archduke will have me slaughtered like a pig for having disobeyed him either the archduke will kill me if i make any change in the shape of the persons who will kill the archduke will kill me disobey what will be disobey disobey and sirikya dekha or the courtiers will have me murdered for painting them as they really are if i paint the courtiers as they really are what will happen they will kill me the commander in chief uh, the captain of the guards all of them will kill me so what will happen anyway i will be killed that is till thinking in either case i am to die what am i to do perhaps it is wiser not to paint this picture at all it is wiser or I mean by wiser intelligent it is intelligent it is wiser buddhi param not to paint this picture at all so till is thinking what can i do okay let us see what will uh, he do in the next class okay dears so we are uh, starting today's class here and uh, we will continue uh, till story in the next class i uh, read the paragraphs two or three more times uh, in the days coming and now come back to our group and we will discuss your doubts and questions in the group okay see you in the next class till then bye bye